Hello, my name is Aiza. In this video, you will see a native Philippine recipe. It is quite simple in a way that there are only three ingredients in it, and it is so delicious. Today, we are in Laboy Out. This is the house that we're staying in for tonight. And let me show you the view. of the balanghoy using a knife. A Josephine is using what is called a sangot. Cutting through the skin of the balanghoy first makes the process of peeling it easier. <laughs> Grate the balanghoy using a fine cheese grater. Philippine natives like Josephine use a nidneran, a homemade grater native to the Philippines. Squeeze the liquid out of the blanghoi by using a juicer or put all the grated blanghoi in a sack, secure it, place it on the table and place weights on it. Another option is to put the grated balanghoy in a sack and have two people twist in different directions. Separate the dry grated balanghoy by rubbing it between your palms. <laughs> you can use a knife that is not easy to bend to take out the husk or you can use a flat screwdriver. What's being used is a kud kud, but you can use a fine cheese grater or a scraper. Kalamay. 
Use the steamer to cook our recipe. If you don't have a steamer, you can improvise. You will need a pot or a kettle and a bagol with holes in the metal. Now seal it with unsqueezed balanghoy, making sure that no heat leaks other than through the holes of the bagol. Now if you choose to use the kettle, seal the spout as well. When the water in the steamer is boiling and steaming, you may put the recipe in the steamer and start cooking our delicious recipe. Donut. Donut. Balihon, kaya para nga mahangay ang iyang luto. Ano ba na po lugla yung dahon? Naulo na kayo luto naman eh. Then ready to eat. Make sure to subscribe, share, comment, and let us know what else you would like to see in the native Philippines.